Hello future engineers and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Okay, so our topic for this video is to analyze a singly reinforced beam. Okay, so let's define first a singly reinforced beam. Okay, so a singly reinforced beam is a beam that is longitudinally reinforced only in tension zone. In such beams, the bending moment and the tension due to bending are carried by reinforcement while the compression is carried by the concrete. Okay, so let's now start to analyze this problem with the help of the ACI codes. Okay, so a singly reinforced beam 300 mm wide has an effective depth of 500 mm. It is reinforced with 320 mm diameter rebar. Use Fy is equal to 414 megapascal and F'C is equal to 28 megapascal. Determine the design moment capacity of the beam. Okay. So, uh, first question, how do we get the design moment capacity of this beam? So, as per ACI codes, okay, so as per ACI codes, 21.2 2.2 the nominal strength of a member that is subjected to moment or combined moment and axial force is determined by the conditions where the strain in the extreme compression fiber is equal to the assumed strain limit of 0 0.003 okay so it is based on the strain of the uh, concrete in uh, extreme compression fiber, okay? So, ito yung uh, strain diagram natin and uh, okay, we will draw a, a neutral axis, okay? So, from neutral axis, so above the neutral axis, yung beam natin dito is in compression. So, the, this area of uh, concrete is in compression. So, and the area of this concrete is in tension okay and then so alam naman natin na ang concrete is uh, weak in uh, tension or yung strength niya is negligible na okay so ang assumption natin dito to compute the design moment capacity since uh, negligible ang strength niya we will assume this as crack okay crack concrete ang tension or wala na siyang tulong sa design moment capacity. Okay? Okay, so so since dito sabi niya dito sa ACI codes that the assumed strain limit at extreme compression fibers is 0.003. Okay? So the strain at the this one that this ito ang compression fiber this is 0.003. Ayun yung nakalagay dito sa code na to. Okay? So, uh, let's uh, put the dimension and this is also the strain of the steel. Okay. And then, uh, we will assume this as C. And if this is C, we can assume this as 500 less C. Okay. So, from here, uh, I think we, we can now draw a stress diagram. Okay. So, this is the stress diagram of uh, this section. Okay. And the T, okay, this uh, force T is produced by the uh, steel, okay, and this uh, C is produced by the concrete, or this is also equal to the sum of this uh, stress, this one, multiplied by the area, okay. Since it is a parabolic curve, the stress diagram is a Par parabolic curve. So, mahirap siyang i-compute or mahirap i-compute itong resultant niya or the, the C. Okay? So, again, as per ACI, the concrete stress of 0.85 F'C shall be assumed uniformly distributed over an equivalent compression zone bounded by edge of the cross section and aligned parallel to the neutral axis located at a distance A from the fiber of 
maximum compressive strain. Okay? As calculated by A is equal to beta 1C. Okay? So, ang ating uh, equivalent stress diagram. So, ito. Uh, sabi nga niya 0.85 of a prime C. Okay? So, that is 0.85 of a prime C. Okay? And this, the value of C now is equal to 0 0.85 of a prime C. Okay? Multiplied by A, which, which is this one. The value of A is this one. Multiplied by B, where B is equal to the width of the uh, the bit. Okay? So, ang area na lang niya is A multiplied by B na lang. Hanggang dito na lang siya. Kasi kinonvert natin siya into uh, uh, uniform stress from uh, parabolic stress. Okay? So, uh, the value of T also is equal to ASFY. Okay? So, from, from dito sa code na to, okay, A is equal to uh, beta 1C. Ang sabi niya, this A is equal to beta 1C. But what is beta 1? Okay? So, again, as per ACI, uh, ACI 21.2.2.4.3, Factor beta 1 shall be taken as 0 0.85 for concrete strength F prime C up to and including 28 MPa. Okay? For strength above 28 MPa, beta 1 shall be reduced. Okay? Babawasan siya continuously at a rate of 0 0.05 for each 7 MPa of strength in excess of 28 megapascal but beta 1 shall not be taken less than 0 0.65 okay but in our scenario since ang f prime c natin is 28 this one including 28 so ang beta 1 natin is uh, 0 0.85 okay so let's now equate this one the t the value this value of t should be equal to the value of c Okay, so ASFS is equal to 0 0.85 F prime C AB. Okay, bakit naging FS tayo rito? Which is dito is FY. Okay, so first, uh, we will assume FS is equal to FY. Okay, and then we will assume this one. FS uh, is equal to FY. E FS muna natin since hindi pa natin alam na kung still yield nga lang siya. So, uh, kung, kung nakuha natin na still yield siya mamaya, so tama ang assumption natin. Okay? Kasi ang FY natin dito is we will assume this as uh, ang assumption nito is still yield. Okay? So, from the on, okay, substitute tayo the, the area of the steel, this one. So, ano ang area niya ng steel is tatlo na 20 mm by d squared over 4 multiplied by the fs natin yung assumption natin na fy is this one the 414 okay is equal to 0 0.85 of f prime c okay 0 0.85 f prime c is 28 megapascal and uh, 0.85 ano tong 0.85 is this one yung a pinalitan na natin ng beta 1c this one okay and then uh, multiplied by 300. Okay? Yung B natin is 300. Okay? And C will be 64.29 mm. Okay. So, from there, uh, okay, we can now compute the value of A. Since, since sabi nga dito, 20.85 uh, ang beta 1 natin. So, substitute natin dito. A will be 54.65. This one, the value of A is 54.65 See, Since may C na tayo We can now check If ang um, still natin is uh, Still yield Okay? So, so from the ACI Paano natin malalaman na still yield siya? So from ACI If the net tensile strain In the extreme tension reinforcement Is sufficiently large uh, Or greater than 0 0.005 The section is defined as attention controlled or that is uh, what we call still yield okay so meaning this uh, uh, epsilon s or the strain of the steel this one uh, should be 
uh, equal or greater than 0.005. Okay? O kung greater than 0.005 siya, so still yield nga siya. Ayun yung sinasabi niya dito. Okay? So, paano natin makocompute to? Okay? So, from ratio and proportion using this triangle. This triangle and this triangle. So, so epsilon S is to 500 less C. Okay? And uh, 0.003 is to C. Okay? So, the epsilon S should be greater than 0.005. Okay? So, this one, the ratio and proportion of the triangle. Epsilon S is, is to uh, 500 less C is equal to 0 0.03. 0 0.003 is to C. Okay? And then, uh, na rearrange na yan and will give us the uh, value of the epsilon is equal to 0 0.0203. Okay? So, yun. So, as check naman as dito na uh, ang ang strain ng steel natin is greater than 0 0.005 okay kasi 0 0.002 tayo meaning that it is a uh, tension control or steel yield okay so uh, from dito uh, i think we can now compute the value of the design moment capacity okay so, paano makukuha ang design moment capacity? Take a moment at C, this one. Okay, so, uh, T, this, this force, is e multiply it by this distance. Okay, but uh, as per ACI, okay, to get the design uh, moment capacity, dapat, na, dapat i-multiply natin siya into a reduction factor. Pero ano yung value ng reduction factor natin? Okay. Since it still yield siya, since still yield siya, so from the graph, okay, so this one, okay, so it still yield is in tension control, okay, so ang sabi niya rito is the, this one, tension control is 0.9 ang ating reduction factor, this is the reduction factor, okay, so from 0 0.0005 above is 0.9 siya and varies linearly siya pababa dito. Okay? Diba? So, this one, varies linearly siya. Pababa dito, up to 0 0.065 ang minimum. Okay? So, the value of the tensile stress in the longitudinal uh, tension of the reinforcement. Okay, so, ito yon. So, dito kasi, ito ang value nito is, uh, the, uh, the computed value dapat is, uh, hanggang sa equal siya dito sa value of the net tensile strain. Dito yon makukuha natin dito yun, yun sa value of the net tensile strain in longitudinal tech, uh, tension reinforcement. Okay? So, kung nag-equal na to, yung strain mula dito and then yung computed strain natin dito, ito yon dito. Okay? Pag-equal, oh, pag, pag in between siya, yung value ng strain dito hanggang dito, so, magbabaris linearly siya going down. Okay? Until, pag naabot niya na yung limit nito, okay, 0.65 na lang ang reduction factor niya. Okay? So, in our scenario, uh, in our scenario, ang reduction factor natin, since above tayo ng 0.05, ang reduction factor natin is 0.09. Okay? So, to, uh, so, let's now compute the design moment capacity. Okay? So, as mentioned earlier, design moment capacity is equal to this one T, multiply it by the, the moment arm. Or, uh, in formula, uh, the PMN is the design moment capacity is equal to the reduction factor, the value of T is ASFY, multiply it by D less A over 2, Y A over 2, since ang din natin is buo, ibabawas lang natin to. Okay, that is equal to this one, the moment R. Okay, substituting the given values. Okay, so 0.9, tatlo na 20 mm. This one, okay, multiplied by FY, 414. And then our D is 500 less 54 
0.65 over 2, which is uh, the value of A, this one. Okay? And then will give us the design moment capacity of 165,989,968.94 newton mm or in kilonewton meter that is equivalent to 165.99 kilonewton meter okay so i think that's all for this topic and if you have questions clarifications and recommendation just comment it below okay feel free also to like subscribe and share okay thank you and keep safe always everyone